Hey everybody. Happy Saturday. So uh, a background you probably have never seen and I apologize for the mess. I've got a mess everywhere, but it's my office. Um, put out a few things. That right there is my pipe cabinet. One of them. It's, it's pretty full of pipes. Uh, yes, that is Frog Morton cellar right there. Not sure if I'm going to keep that or, or or what I'm going to do with it. Um, got some quiet nights up there. Got some whiskey up in there. And, uh, you know, there's some old Abingdon right there. I'm getting better at this. It's various tobaccos. So, hey, whatever. But still had the gum graft. Still can't smoke. Probably could. Some people say three to five days. Some people say seven. So I'm going to go with the seven. Um, just in here doing the old MBA. Got the last project about halfway done. And my brain is boop, 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 done for today. So, hey, I'm sitting here. I got some packages to open. I need to rest my brain. I figure, what the heck? Let's do a Yabo and check in with you. Show you guys the office. I'll do some videos later on the office. This is an older house. You can tell by the... I haven't been busy enough to change the... Uh, or cared enough to change the drapery. It's 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 an older model. But uh, you yeah, know what the hell? I, I like it here. Uh, this up here is full of cigars. Um... Yeah, my exterminator loves coming over here. He said uh, when he comes in this room, it, just the smell of it reminds him of his grandpa. So, And it does smell good in here. Um, you know, a lot of good tobaccos. But anyhow, let's uh, open a few boxes. And, you know, I was debating whether to open all four. This isn't to be a braggart thing. Candidly, this is just to give me something to do and to talk to you guys while I do it and show you some of the things I've picked up here recently. Uh, it's not meant to say, hey, ooh, look at me. I don't roll like that and I don't care, um, to be honest with you. I, I really don't. I'm not a material person. Um, I just like to have fun with this hobby and overspend. Uh, got the old-fashioned Kershaw. And as Corvette Jim says, always cut towards yourself for safety, which I have. Let's take a look. This is a tobacco and pipes box. I know what's in it. It's nothing really crazy, but uh, so some some a couple neat things. And then I got to make sure I pick everything up so the dogs don't get them. Oh, I got a few. Um, I've been smoking a lot of cobs lately, so I picked up a few more cobs. I've been doing bents, but this is a Ozark Mountain straight. And I'll show you here in a little bit why I got a couple straight pipes. Um, mainly because I got the uh, bits for them, or the stems for them. This is a Country Gentleman straight. I've got a Country Gentleman bent. I, I've been using my, I would tell you guys, I've been using my cobs more than anything. Um, and then I was able to get this. I figured I'd better get this while I seen it. Um, I've seen some pretty decent reviews on it. Uh, we'll see how it how it tastes or how it comes out. But that's the the Wessex curly block, so a pretty hefty, almost 11 ounce piece, uh, 275 grams, so almost a 10 ounce piece, 9.7. Uh, so that's it looks pretty nice. Uh, packaged up. I'm not going to cut this open right now. Can't really smell through the package, so I'll jar that up later. But that was kind of an interesting thing. I'll leave the pipes out. Uh, and I'm not going to cut toward myself anymore. I think Corvette Jim is full of hoo-hoo. Trying to cut toward myself. So I'll cut away from myself. Was able to pick up a few more of these. And I absolutely freaking love these things. Um, and I love Shape B. If you go on there. But Vermont Freehand. Uh, they make, and I had him bend these. So these are all basically new forever stems for my cobs. I'm going to dedicate a cob to cherry. I'll probably use that stem so I know it's cherry. And I picked up a gold one. 
Um, they're reasonably priced. I love them. Love how they feel. And I love shape B. He has five or six shapes that you could do, and you can get them straight or bent. But I had ordered a handful of them, and I ordered them straight, and I was putting the straight ones on my bent pipes, and it didn't, it worked, but, you know, it wasn't the best. So I figured I would go ahead and get some bent ones. Uh, if you're a Morgan bonehead like me, and one of these days I'll show you my pipe collections. I've got a Sherlock Home pipe cabinet up there that is nothing but Morgan bones. Um, Chris released some shapes this week, last week, that uh, were new. And uh, I liked three of them. Really, I should have gotten the Stubby Bulldog. Uh, I think it was a Stubby, a Stubby Bulldog or a Dwarf Bulldog or something like that. That thing went like hotcakes, but I, I didn't grab it. I should have. I was on there in time to get it, but I didn't. Uh, it's a little pipe reveal. This one's called the Leprechaun. It's just a little pot. These are great for... These are going to be camping pipes. That's a nice little pipe. That's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But that's actually perfect for on my way to work or whatever. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, I've been getting into a lot of the smaller pipes lately. Uh, here's a, That is the 9mm Apple. It is small as well, as you can see, which I will like because that will allow me to smoke a bowl on the way to work or wherever I'm going. And the last one, I've wanted one of these. I actually don't have this shape at all in my collection, believe it or not. And it's a it's a low vat, a mini low vat. Again, not the biggest pipe. Now this one's a little bit deeper. I can go up to a little past my first knuckle. That'll be a little bit more of a smoke. But I kind of got this one set up to be maybe my camping pipe this year, along with my 320. So was able to get some bones. Oh, did I just see? Yeah. I love when I get kind of gnarled like that. Uh, some of you may remember, if you remember my very, very, very first video, uh, my bear pipe. It's got a big old gouge missing out of the front. It's a Morgan Bones. This is one of my, is my first Bones pipe. I really liked it. I liked it so much that the stem broke and I had uh, Mark Tinsky put another stem on it for me. That's how much I liked it. So, one more. Let's see what we got. This one is the one I was, I'm really most anxious to see. And, uh, comes from our friend in Arizona, who I will not name. But you'll probably figure it out. Which is fine if you do. But it was a pipe I seen and I really wanted. And so, it looks like this box is a lot bigger than what a pipe should come in. So, uh, and it is. I, it looks like there's more here than a pipe. So, got a nice bro note. I don't read these on the air. Wow. Thank you, sir. You know who you are. Really nice professional piece of stationery there. Nice cardboard uh, backing. Really nice. So um, we'll save the pipe for last. We'll see what's in in this. Kind of have a feeling. I know, but uh, we'll see. Ooh, very cool. I don't have one of these. I know Doug and Curmudgeon had one of these, and it is a tobacco jar with Briar Blues, our friend Mike, uh, with some tobacco in it. Uh, beautiful. I will most certainly enjoy that, and the jar is very nice. So thank you, sir. Again, I'm trying not to use names, but uh, you know who you are, and I do appreciate you. And the last piece of the pipe. This is really what I wanted to see. Really, really liked this when I saw it, and I knew knew it had to be had to be mine. And it, you probably guessed it. It's an Asikian. Really nice boxing there for 
the pipe. That's very professional, very nice. Uh, beautiful pipe sock inside. You can see there, it's absolutely gorgeous. And actually, this pipe actually did not ship in a sock. This one shipped very, very much like I ship mine with the stem out. So I appreciate that. Uh, some people ship them, you know, these little doodads came with the stem in, but uh, this one came with the stem out. So let me uh, actually kind of put this together. And then I'm going to put it in the sock and we'll do a dramatic reveal. I better show you, huh? Sit, me sitting here hoarding it. If you know my channel, you know one of my two favorite shapes. And this is definitely one of them. Uh, but let's take a gander here, shall we? It's kind of a nice Cumberland looking stem. And there you go. Boop. That is an apple, which is my all-time favorite shape. Look at that bad boy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Some really nice work here on the stem and on the band. Pipe looks fantastic. A Seekian. This is, I don't know, you probably will never be able to see that, but that is number 160 of, uh, and it's in 2022. So uh, just a fantastic looking pipe that I look forward to smoking as my gum heals up. But just look at that. I saw that. I thought, yeah. So my pipe acquisition hit hard. I'll be done for a while uh, in the process of changing jobs, um, probably here shortly. So uh, probably I'm not going to spend much money on pipes or tobacco. So this was a hoorah here that'll probably be my hoorah for quite some time. But anyhow, again, hopefully you enjoyed seeing that stuff. Uh, hopefully you enjoy seeing a little bit about who Buckeye is back here. And maybe, you know, tomorrow or the next day, maybe we'll do a tour of, of my cellar. I had my cellar a hundred percent in uh, totes. It was in like three or four pretty nice size totes. I've taken that out since then, and I bought a really nice six drawer dresser that sits in here in my office, fits perfect against the wall, and uh, I was able to get all my cellar into that. So I've been wrestling some some expenses have come up. Um, I've been wrestling a little bit with maybe thinning out the cellar a little bit. I've got some stuff that that would most certainly be interested to a lot of folks. A lot of, uh, you know, you got the frogs up there. I really don't want to part with those, though. And um, quite a bit of esoteric and some old school Dunhill, like BB 1938 and stuff like that, um, that I have. I plan to keep it, but... Um, if, if the expenses hit the way they possibly could, and maybe we'll do a, a seller video and, uh, show some stuff to you guys and gals, if you're interested, that's really it from North Carolina. Um, I think we're going to play some games tonight. Uh, I've been refraining from drinking a little bit, um, you know, the gum graft, especially, and just, you know, I just have developed this thing that I don't drink very often at all. Um, but if I do, I tend to maybe hit it a little bit harder than I should. So I don't like feeling crummy the next day because I'm an old man. So I'm just kind of chilling out with that. Um, so we're probably going to play some games tonight. We've been playing a game called Villainous. Um, it's a Disney game. It's also a Marvel edition. It's a card game. It's actually pretty fun. Mrs. Buckeye and, and my son Brendan, we, they both really enjoy it. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, uh, you know, playing your character and, and uh, seeing how it shakes out against the other characters. So pretty good stuff. Uh, outside of that, um, you know, I, I did see a, a video today um, from Edwin. 
and he talked a lot about mental health. If you get a chance, check that out. And uh, what did I do with my phone? Oh, <laughs> I'm using it to record the video. Duh, I guess that's what I did with my phone. Um, but I'll give you I'll give you Edwin's full channel. Um, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but he did a nice five minute video on the importance of mental health and and um, you know especially with guys. Uh, especially, you know, we try to power through stuff and, you know, I've, I've shared a little bit of my story when I try to do that and it probably didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out, but Hey, what, you know, um, live and learn, but, uh, feeling great right now. So working on this MBA, four classes left. Gosh, I can't wait this time next year. It's over. That will be fantastic. I'm excited about that, uh, to get that behind me and done and, uh, if nothing else, complete a goal that I had when I was younger of getting my MBA. Um, so it'll be done. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to use it for something. Potentially even teaching is, is kind of what I'm thinking maybe. Uh, they're rolling out uh, here at one of the local colleges. They're rolling out a logistics program. So maybe being able to teach in the logistics program may be something I look at down the road. That would be a big time passion of mine. It's something I thoroughly would enjoy. Aside from that, thanks for, uh, you know, hanging out with the box openings. Again, I, it's now that I look at it, it kind of could come across as, you know, it's not boasting, please. Uh, you know, again, I can't stress it enough. I just like to share with you guys and gals. And it's not all that I ordered at once. These boxes have actually been sitting here for quite some time unopened. So it's not like this was one one order for one day. Uh, and the normal order that flows into Casa de Buckeye. It's nah, not it at all. These have been actually sitting here for some time. Um, and it just felt like today was a good day to open them. And um, that's it, folks. 17 minutes. Hopefully you're well. Um, you know, take care of yourselves out there. Take care of yourselves and be healthy and don't let work kill you trying to take that advice and uh, spend time with family and friends that you can and enjoy them. Uh, I think I'm going to jump on the old golf cart and whiz the dogs around. That's their absolute favorite thing to do. Uh, aside from going camping is uh, golf cart rides. They absolutely love getting on that golf cart. So uh, we've got a pretty nice neighborhood. We can zoom around and, and a couple of the neighbors have golf carts. So it gets to be quite the, uh, quite the scene, man with all the golf carts and all the dogs that are riding in golf carts in the neighborhood. It's kind of funny, but all of the dogs, not just ours, they really thoroughly enjoy their golf cart rides. So anyhow, folks, take care. Uh, it was great seeing y'all. I'm going to try to do some more videos and be a little bit more active. Um, I've been trying to jump on some lives lately. I uh, actually jumped on Beans' 316, uh, his hit Brian's live today. Actually won a half a tin of Esoterica, so that was that was great. It's an Esoterica I actually haven't tried yet, so it'll be nice to be able to try that. We'll do a video on it as well. But uh, take care, folks. Wash your damn hands. We'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great day.